Hi, my name is Christian Kacher and welcome to Scrum Tapas. The topic I want to tell you about today is the Nexus integration team. As you may know, Nexus is the framework for scaling Scrum from scrum.org. And one of the concepts that usually get people get wrong and, and they they are confused around it is that is having the Nexus integration team. Um, the nat natural way of thinking about it when you see it the first time is like, okay, so we have a separate team doing the integration work, but that would be really an dysfunctional an anti-pattern. Uh, what Nexus integration team really is, is kind of virtual team made of members of the regular development team, so each member can have individual candidate, individual representative in the Nexus integration team. So you have developers here. You also need a product owner, the product owner for the Nexus, responsible for building that product. And you may ask yourself, why do we need product owner in that team? Well, sometimes the issues around integration can be solved by managing the product backlog and product owner needs to be aware of the risks of not having integrated in increment and, and issues around integration. And it's good to have a product owner in those conversations. And you need a Scrum Master. So it can be one of Scrum Masters that you have in the Nexus to facilitate the discussions, to, to help remove impediments and, and facilitate the process. And the Nexus integration team is accountable for integration, so they make sure that integration happens within Sprint and we have one integrated increment. Remember that scale Scrum is still Scrum, so you have to do that. And actually the teams, the development teams, are still responsible for doing the integration. And this way, so here you have the responsible people and here you have the accountable, which is, which is different. And the Nexus integration team has that focus that the integration will happen, helps with integration, and can run in two modes. The, the first mode is kind of default mode, where they um, guide, mentor, uh, consult, teach development teams on integration. So it happens within the development teams. And there is the second mode where they actually can put the work in Sprint on hold uh, until the integration is done or they can do the integration themselves, but it's emergency mode, it shouldn't really happen. And in an uh, ideal situation, that Nexus integration team should not be that busy. Or you can say, in ideal situation where the teams know how to do the integration, they, they keep focus on integration themselves, actually you shouldn't need the Nexus integration team. But it's good to have that accountability. So somebody always thinks about integration within sprints. That's the way how and the Nexus integration team should look like and the way how it should work. So if you, if you want to know more about Nexus integration team and the whole Net Nexus framework, you can download the, the guide and uh, read it further. I hope you learned something. Thank you.